So if you go up to your company, yeah. you by doing, set up budgets. So the one I showed before, it would be email by account. Actually, then, to go to the uh, beginning, because there are existing budgets, that's why I came here. You want to create a new budget, yeah. you pick your year, and you know, and then you can pick by customer job or class, so we're going to do just by account. Then you can create your budget from scratch, so what's going to come up will be completely blank, um, or you can create a budget from the previous year's actual data. Then you hit finish, and then what's going to come up is uh, this if you've chosen to use previous year's data. So here's your totals, everyone's calling you, annual totals. Well, but it doesn't give you your totals. It doesn't give you your total. What's your total total income? You have labor income and you have, I can't read all those, but materials income and you've got. Right, well, you've got your, I believe it was already a report. It'll, depending on how you have your account set up, yes. So if you go here, um, There's no budget total income. Right, but if you're actually trying to build the budget month by month, yeah. we always found that it's really hard to do it right in there. you got to do it in Excel and then just put the data into QuickBooks. Because you can't look at the total. Well, I, say I know that I want my total income for next year to be, pick a number, a million dollars. Right. I'm not going to do, it's not going to be even over the 12 months. Right. So I need to know that the total total is a million as I'm adding in each month to make sure that my total income is a million dollars. Depending on how you're building it, you're building a cost-based budget, you're building an income-based budget. Right, so if we go to a...